All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how you back up your Proxmox virtual machines to a Synology storage server. And this is gonna be a pretty straightforward video because all you really need to do is set up a, a shared folder, a network file share, and those integrate with Proxmox pretty easily, but we'll walk through it and just show you some of the finer points on how it works. But here we, in front of me, we have uh, my simple Proxmox cluster. I have a couple of VMs running uh, for various things. And what we're gonna do is set up a on-demand backup to a local Synology server. And then I'll show you how to set up a scheduled backup of a bunch of VMs. Then we'll also walk through the process of restoring them and show you what that looks like. So to, to kick this off, I'm actually gonna flip over to the Synology DSM interface over here. And the first thing we're, we're gonna wanna do is set up a shared folder. So we'll open the control panel, click on shared folder, and we're going to create a new shared folder. And I will call, I will call this Proxmox. And then we'll go through the other configurations for the folder. I will leave the recycle bin configured. I'm not going to encrypt it. We'll turn on uh, data checksumming. And there you go. And then um, what you want to do is grant access to the account that you're going to have log in to the, the SMB share in order to kind of write the backups from Proxmox to this. In this case, I'm just going to do my standard account right here. I'm going to set it uh, to read write. And there we go. So we have a new Proxmox shared folder. And we should be good to go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump back over to the Proxmox cluster. And what we need to do is here's my node Proxmox 2. We're going to go up to the data center. And we're going to add a new storage definition. So I'm going to add SMB. And here we're going to put in all the uh, information for the share we just created. And so you can call the ID anything you want. So I will just call this Synology. And here you'll enter the name or the IP address of the Synology server. In this case, it's 192.168.3.10. And next you're gonna enter your credentials. And if that worked, when I click on share right here, if it's able to connect, I'll see all the, the shares that are exported. And sure enough, here we go. And I will just click the Proxmox shared folder I just created. And then the next thing we want to pick is the type of data that's going to be stored. Now you can pick uh, multiple uh, data types here, but to make it easy, I'm just going to pick a VZ dump backup file. I'll remove disk image. And that should do it. Oh, that, okay. I got an error because I've actually done this before. And I did remove it, but something was not removed. So just to, to make things easy, I'll call this Synology too. There we go. So now we have our shared folder set up on Proxmox. You can see it right here. And if, if I click on it, here's the summary of the shared folder. And you can see right now, there's no backup set uh, save there. So what we'll do is we'll just go pick one of these VMs we want to back up, and I'll show you how to do a one-time backup of that. So I'm just going to click on this Keep Alive Test 1 where I was playing around with Keep Alive D and for a different video. Here's the summary of the VM. It's an Ubuntu server that I was just playing around with. You click on the Backup tab. Click Backup Now. And for the storage, here's where you choose where the backup's gonna be stored. You can go to local storage, but we're gonna select the storage we just configured, named Synology 2. You can choose different uh, backup modes. I'm just gonna have it take a snapshot of the running VM. And for the compression, I'll just do the standard uh, ZSTD fast and good. It's up to you on this one. And we'll just hit back up and it will start. Now this can take a while depending on how big your VM disk is, et cetera. So we will just wait and we'll speed this along. We won't make you watch the whole thing. All 
All right, the backup is complete. We'll close the window. And if you go back down to the Synology 2 share you configured, if you click backups, you can see the backup we just set up. So, and restoring it is just as easy. So what we can do is I will go, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off this VM because what happens is when you restore it from a backup, you're gonna end up with the same MAC address and IP address and it could cause issues. So I'm just gonna stop this one real quick. All right, go back to Synology 2, look at my backups list. I'll click this and restore and here we go. It's asking the VM ID to restore to 106 will be a new one, which is fine. Um, you can actually change the name of it and I will do that. I'll do, I'll just call it test five. And so these are all the, uh, the default settings that were stored with the VM when you saved it. And you can change these coming back. So since I didn't get rid of my keep alive test one, I don't want to mess with that. So I'm just going to pick a different name and I'll click restore. All right, that is done. So if we go back over, here is the test five VM we just created. And we should be able to start this up. And there you go, it looks just fine. So here's what we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna show you how to configure a regular backup for multiple VMs at once. So let me just, we're gonna turn this VM off and remove it. Just clean things up a little bit. All right, just setting things back up. So I'm gonna go back to the Synology uh, link here. I'm just gonna remove this backup since we were just playing around with that. Great. So now if I want to configure a, a regular backup for a bunch of VMs, we have to go up to the data center tab and look at the entire system, click on backup, add, and here's where you can add a backup and schedule it. So again, we're going to pick storage. We're going to choose Synology 2. Now here's where you get to choose the schedule you want. So I will say every day at 2100 seems just fine and include selected VMs. So I will just pick these three. Uh, and similar configuration as before, you can choose the compression mode. You can choose to take a snapshot or suspend the VM. Um, you can choose to send a, an email, a notification. I don't have any of that set up. So I will just choose on failure only and click create. And there you go. Now, of course, if I wanted to run this right now, I can do that. And for fun, we'll click on that. And of course, once the backup job is running, you can come down here and open it up and see. So what I'm gonna do is let's just let one of these backup jobs finish. I'm gonna switch over to the Synology DSM real quick and I'll show you the files on there. All right, perfect. So we have one backup done. So let's just go over to the Synology NAS and we'll open up file station so we can take a look at those files. Go to the Proxmox folder. Here we go. So you can see the files safely on the Synology NAS. And that is pretty much it. Really straightforward to set up. Again, we're really just setting up a file, exposing a file share from the Synology NAS and Proxmox works perfectly well with file shares. So you could, there are many different ways to do that. You could use TrueNAS, other file share services, et cetera. But that's really kind of the, the steps of configuring it on the Proxmox side and sending it up for a regular backup and quickly how to restore it. So hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time.